Returnal is a challenging game. Combined with its roguelike structure and the inherent difficulty of most of its firefights, it is a game that will regularly put your skills to the test. As players prepare to jump into Housemark's latest, here we've combined a few handy pointers that should hopefully give you a bit of a head start as you begin your journey through Atropos. Let's start with some basic stuff and then move on to more specific tips. Before we go ahead, a quick request. We upload new videos every single day and your subscription matters a lot. So please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's begin. Always stay on the move. Returnal's combat is some of the busiest, most frantic you'll experience in a game of its kind. And perhaps the single best piece of advice that you're going to get that you should keep in mind throughout the entire game is this. Always. Always stay on the move. More often than not, you'll be attacked by large groups composed of different kinds of enemies, dealing different kinds of attacks, and moving in different ways. Staying still in any single area is a quick way to die and reset your progress for the next run. So make sure that you're always on the move. Use your dash liberally and sprint whenever you're not shooting. You can dash through attacks. Speaking of the dash, it's the best, most useful, and most necessary tool in your arsenal, and will be throughout the entirety of the game. There's a couple of things about it that you should always remember. For starters, holding down circle instead of tapping it once will give you a longer dash, so keep that in mind when you're dealing with attacks that do damage over a large area. More importantly, you can dash through attacks. The dash gives you iframes, so that even when you're dashing through attacks, you won't sustain any damage. That can be a crucial tip in many situations, especially in some of the boss fights, so always keep that in mind. Stick with hip firing. As mentioned, Returnal puts a lot of emphasis on movement. In fact, it puts most of its focus on movement, and not much on accuracy, unlike most shooters. As such, it's best to stick with hip firing. You can certainly aim down sights if you want to, but that doesn't gel with the constant need of movement very well. Besides, hip firing is plenty accurate on its own. Just aim in the general direction of an enemy and your shots will find their way home more often than not. Explore thoroughly. Combat forms the bulk of the experience in Returnal, but there's more to the game as well that you shouldn't be ignoring. Exploration is a key element of the game as well, and ideally you should be exploring environments thoroughly. From health upgrades, to crucial items to help you with your build, to parasites, to stronger weapons, Returnal usually rewards you for your curiosity handsomely. Take a step back if you're overwhelmed. In Returnal, you'll often find yourself overwhelmed, especially in the earlier hours of the game. Large groups of enemies might come at you and put up an imposing challenge. If you find yourself on the wrong side of a fight, it's best to take a step back and head to previous rooms. If there are other branching paths you haven't explored previously or optional rooms you had ignored, go do those first and maybe you'll be able to come back with more health or healing items or a strong build. If not, well, at least you can take a breath and think through your strategy for the fight ahead. Upgrading Weapons The more you use your weapons in Returnal, the more that they level up, allowing you to unlock mods and skills. Unlike most progress in the game, weapon upgrades are unlocked permanently across all runs. Our advice would be to stick with the weapons that you like and find the most useful in fights. Rather than splitting your attention and dividing progress across a large pool of weapons, it's best to stick with the ones that you like so you can make focused and faster progress with them. Upgrade the Pistol One of the weapons you prioritize for upgrades should definitely be the pistol, especially early on in the game. The pistol is the weapon you start every run with. And sure, it usually doesn't take very long to get your hands on a different weapon in most runs, but starting out with a pistol that's already buffed up is usually a great way to ensure that you speed up early progress in each run as well. Besides, with the right weapon mod drops, even the pistol can be incredibly useful in a firefight. Overload Returnal's guns don't have ammo, but they do need to reload nonetheless. While you don't have to worry about running out of bullets, every time you empty a clip or magazine, you have to wait for your weapon to reload. There is, however, a way to cut down on the time that you have to wait, with a mechanic called Overload, which is essentially exactly like Gears of War's active reload. If you fire at the exact time that a reload bar is in a small window, you reload your weapon immediately, without having to wait for the bar to refill. Keep an eye on Overload, and make sure you utilize it every time you get, because the few seconds that it does give you can be crucial in most firefights. Build yourself up while it might be tempting every time you respawn back at the beginning in every run to just rush through the earlier parts and get to where you were before dying as quickly as possible, we would recommend being more patient. Take your time, 
fight some enemies, find a good weapon, build up by finding powerful artifacts, purchase some healing items. Essentially, make sure that your build is at least as strong, if not stronger, as it was before when you're getting to the point where you last died. Return to older areas. Returnal employs a Metroidvania design philosophy, which means you'll often find new items that will help you reach areas that were previously inaccessible. As such, it's a great idea to return to older biomes that you've already done before to explore areas you missed out on. And we're not just saying that for the completionists out there. Often, in these old areas, you'll find new audio logs, uncover more of the story, bits and pieces of new lore, or even unlock new artifacts or weapons to use later on. Redo Older Bosses Unlike many other roguelikes and roguelites, once you defeat a boss in Returnal, you don't have to fight them again on subsequent runs. That progress is permanent, but you can still take them on if you want. In fact, in some cases, it is even recommended. If you're looking to build up your character before heading for bigger challenges, taking on an older boss again can be a great way to do so. Of course, these fights are challenges as well, so you should only do them if you're feeling confident in your skills and your abilities, so do keep that in mind. Malignancy is usually worth the risk. Often, items and chests you find in Returnal will be malignant, which means that there's a chance that picking them up or opening them will stick you with a suit malfunction. There's a lot of variables each time. You don't know how bad the suit malfunction will be. You don't know how strict the requirements for removing them will be. You don't know what items those chests will give you, and you don't even know if you'll get a suit malfunction. There's a risk-reward mechanic at play, but even though there's a lot of unpredictability here, malignancy is usually worth the risk. Most of the times, the malfunctions are not that serious, and the requirements for removing them aren't that demanding. Of course, sometimes you'll be unlucky and get a particularly bad malfunction, but those instances are not that common. Save your ether. There are two currencies in Returnal, Obelites and Ether, and while Obelites are lost every time you die, Ether is permanent. It's very valuable and not very easy to find, so it's best to hold on to it for when you really need to spend it. Don't waste large quantities on clearing malignancy either. Instead, use it for opening up temporary checkpoints or for summoning items from Kothonos at the very beginning of each run. Parasites are better than malignant chests. Parasites also have a risk-reward mechanic at play, but they're much more useful than malignant items. Though the debuffs you get from parasites cannot be removed until you find a way to remove the parasites themselves, they're also less random and unpredictable than malignant chests. Every time you know exactly what buff and debuff you're going to get, so you have a better idea of whether or not you want to take the risk each time in context of the build that you're working towards. Melee is extremely powerful. Pretty early on in Returnal, you'll get a blade that serves as your melee weapon. Now, this here is a third-person bullet hell shooter, which means melee attacks are obviously de-emphasized. And while we wouldn't recommend ignoring your guns and playing the game as a hack-and-slash title, we wouldn't recommend doing the opposite either. Your melee attacks can be very powerful and do a lot of damage, so getting up and close to enemies and hitting them with your blade at times is a great strategy that you should adopt any chance that you get. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.